Hi, YouTube. <laughs> okay, it's Paris Nicole. Wait a minute, let me zoom out some. It's Paris Nicole, back with another video. My head is still kind of cut off, but we're going to roll with it. Um, hey, I am back. It's been a long time, but I'm back with um, a chit chat, get ready with me video. Um, I'm going to talk about where I've been and I don't know. I'm just going to talk about whatever comes to mind. I think I have a good idea of what I want to talk about and um, so I'm just going to do something. I don't know what I want to do um, look wise. So. First off, I like to address this lighting. I have been trying to um, find out, figure out a way to enhance and better my lighting situation. You guys, I have been through so much. Um, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I purchased a ring light around Christmas. And y'all, so much went wrong with it. Like, I had to send the light back two or three different times. Um, and so, I just ended up, I got fed up and I just ended up um, sending the whole thing back. And, um, and I just wanted to be done with it. So I am going to still try to purchase a ring light just because it's good to have, especially if you're looking into going into like artistry. But uh, I decided to use this um, light that I purchased for my YouTube videos and um, in my other videos, it was like the lighting was just yellow and then it would go clear and then it would go yellow again. But um, I purchased some fluorescent white light bulbs and um it's really bright and i think it's gonna counteract the yellow ish and the orangish little thing that was going on beforehand so hopefully when i edit it and it goes up everybody will see a difference in my lighting and i hope it looks really good I really do hope that comes together for me instead of going back and forth with Amazon over my ring light that I wanted. I hope this is a cheap alternative until I can get another ring light. I'm not going to do anything too fancy with my makeup today. Because I am recovering from um foot surgery y'all. I had foot surgery two weeks ago, going on three weeks ago. I had I had it done on both feet and um it was to correct some of my toes and get them back on fleek for the summertime. I've been needing to get this surgery for a very long time probably some years it's been right now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics concealer palette and just um, cleaning those eyebrows so yes and my sister is in here if you hear that little rustling in the background I'm sorry so yes she's doing her makeup too better than hers whatever and um it's it's just been a very hard recovery, y'all. I didn't think it was gonna be this long. Um, I thought I would be back on my feet very shortly, and that it's just not <laughs> how it happened. I've just been at home, um, resting up. More than shut up. Um. And being very bored. Um, so I've been very depressed. 
I'm going to go in with some milk of magnesia, y'all. Um, that I have not found a primer that works better than milk of magnesia. I know it supposedly clogs up your pores, but I really don't care because I have yet to find anything that keeps my face matte on my face. And I'm really trying to get in control of my breakouts. My face has not been the same ever since I graduated. I've been having a lot of problems with breakouts. And just me adjusting. But I have faith that it will clear up. Now I'm going to go in with my black opal. Uh, foundation the same one I've been using for a while and I'm also going to spray my real tangy sponge with LA girl pro setting spray I'm so hungry but yeah back to the foot surgery so um I'm very just slow and getting back up and getting back to my normal self it's just really hard um it's all i've been talking about to my friends it's all i can think about because you really don't know how much you take your little toes for granted until you know you have to get something done or something has to be cut up on <laughs> excuse you so um i think this lighting is gonna work out i really do but um so yeah it's just been a very slow recovery process and i've been down on myself and sad and lonely and the last thing that i've really been thinking about is putting out these tutorials i'm trying to get back to myself and getting back to myself is actually looking like something and making yourself feel better with makeup and hair and you know getting back to the old you so um it's going on three weeks but um and i'm able to like walk slowly um so i think it'll just get better and better each day so, just pray for me, y'all. So, yeah. Like, y'all, my skin looks so bad. So bad. It's just very, like, uneven. Just looks bad. But I'm trying to get in control of it. But it just takes time. So I'm just, I just been um trying different things. And it seems like I'll try one thing and then it works. And then I'll try another thing. You know, it'll work for a while and then you have to kind of switch it up because your skin gets so used to. This is Black Radiance, the same little dark um, contour stick. <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get my skin in control. Um, now I'm about to blend all of this out. So lately, guys, I have really been missing school. Um, it has been, I want to say, roughly three months, going on three months or three months since I've graduated. And I will say that I have had the after school blues. Um after college blues because it's just a lot to adapt to um you know you don't see the same people that you've seen for the last like three years three or four years and um i don't know you just missed it like i have yet to get into my routine of working yet um 
I do have some jobs that are waiting on me to recover from my surgery. But I haven't yet gotten to that everyday routine of like working and being around new people, you know, that you work with and getting into that routine of just getting up every day, going to work or getting up every day, work out, go to work. I haven't gotten into that that routine yet. It just causes you to kind of think back on, oh, I miss school and I want to go back. But when I was at school, I was so tired. So over it and I just wanted to um, move on to better and greater. So I just have to remind myself of that. When I get into those phases of wanting to be back in school, I just have to remind myself that, you know, time waits for no one and being in school, but, you know, life goes on and you have to move on. And there are going to be, you know, better days and better times. There are going to be times when I enjoy, um, you know, being out on my own and just, I just think I have to give myself time to like get into some type of a routine. Uh, a lot of my friends that graduated before me um, told me, I'm just going to set my concealer, told me that, you know, you're going to, there are going to be times where you really miss school and school college is it can become a crutch it's you know when people ask you well hey you know what are you doing it's so easy to just be like oh i go to school and i'm a student and this is my major and you know you can make a conversation like that but now the conversation is oh <laughs> you graduated so what you got going now you got a job yet um, you out on your own yet? You, you know, what you doing now? You, you out of school and you just kind of be like, huh, nothing, not doing anything yet. <laughs> but if you are going through that right now, I would just say, don't get discouraged. Um, and just really trust the timing of your life. Um, and trust God. Because he know what he has for you. He knows the plans that he has for you. And um, you live on his time. You don't live on your own time. So you just have to remember that. In college or whether, you know, you're unemployed and you're trying to find what makes you happy. You, you just have to trust the timing of your life and know that it's coming, you know. I would rather be waiting on my better to come than to be working at a job that I hate and just not really enjoying life. And I would also rather be graduated with a degree than complaining at school about how I'm ready to go, which is what I did my whole time at school. So. I'm really enjoying this lighting situation. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. I really want my channel to grow and I really want people to enjoy and relate. Wow, you just got all jazzed up. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just telling y'all what I've been going through. So, these are just my random thoughts. This is how I think. And my makeup is not at all, like, fleeky or anything like that. I'm just, um, my mom wants to go to the mall. And... I didn't want to really go because I went out earlier looking for some comfy shoes for my little ugly feet. 
coming. I was talking about my channel. Yes, I really want um my channel to grow and I want people to be able to relate to me. I don't want to just smack on makeup all the time and show y'all how to <laughs> contour and highlight because there are a bajillion um videos on all of it with contour and highlighting on everybody's channel on on everybody's channel it's a million bajillion videos on that but i just want to do more personal videos to distinguish myself and separate myself from other people so i'm trying to come up you know with um different topics and different videos to do whether i'm inspiring somebody or if i'm telling y'all who inspires me y'all i'm a very weird different funny kooky animated person um which i'm i'm sure you can get a little bit of my personality from my videos that i've done so far but um it's a lot more to me i want to show y'all so yeah all right now i'm putting on some baby lips um I'm trying to figure out if i want to do eyeshadow i'm also trying to figure out how long this video is gonna be i hope it's not too long but most of the time get ready with me videos are pretty long so i have no idea what kind of eye i'm gonna do but I'm gonna part of my eyes uh, I have so many story time videos to do. Uh, I've been catfished before. I've been evicted out of a, in an apartment. I think that's going to be my first story time. I actually just recently told my mom the story about that. And that's I have so many story times, so I have to get them cleared by my mom first. Because I don't want her to find out something that has happened to me from my YouTube <laughs> so I tell her stuff at a later date then at a much later date like for instance the story time that I want to do about me getting evicted that happened like I got evicted the day that I graduated and so I'm just now telling her I just told her this week about me getting evicted <laughs> So, but I have a lot of story time videos to tell y'all. I am going to use this e.l.f. palette that I got for Valentine's Day from my aunt. Um, and I'm just going to do some. I don't know what. I think this is a neutral eyeshadow palette, but it's really nice. The colors are nice in here. And I'm just going to warm up my crease with this brownish color. Morgan, what else should I talk to them about? I don't know what you're talking about. I just been talking about random stuff. I am actually very big on hair. I actually have to, I forgot, I have to do a video showing y'all the like revolution of my hair because when I first got back, reintroduced myself on YouTube, I had blonde hair and a mohawk and now I'm back, I'm on this little pixie cut and I actually cut this myself, you guys. Don't ask me how. I just do stuff. But um, yeah, I have to show you. I have to tell y'all about the evolution of my hair. Um, because I've had every style you can think of. Seriously, every style. Oh so, yeah, we're going to the mall. And I was watching um, Catherine Bedell's Get Ready With Me video. Um, she checked Get Ready With Me and I was just like, I should do a she checked Get Ready With Me video because why not? I don't have anything planned. But y'all, my birthday is next week. Today is March the 4th, I believe. And my birthday is March the 12th and I will be 23 years old and I have absolutely no plan. I don't know. 
my birthday always ends up on someone's spring break and so last year i went out of town this year i was planning to go out of town but um my money was looking funny because i just graduated and i i really just wasn't in a position to go out of town i don't know what i want to do i don't i'm i'm really over my line my eyes i'm really over like the dinners um, I'm not a person that likes so much attention on myself. Last year was like the first time where I just really planned something, um, which was when we went out of town. And like I said, my, my birthday is on um, spring break. So it was just perfect. And I had an awesome time last year. Um, in Panama, that's another story time. I had a really good time. I cannot line this out for nothing. Shout out to um, Creative Colors, who is in Miami right now. That's where I was supposed to go. Okay. So, um, um pretty content with what my makeup looks like it's nothing too much um my skin is so uneven it's really making me mad but i guess i put a little blush on but i have got to drink some water and get my skin and uh that's gonna conclude this get ready chit chat sorry that i rambled on but I'll get better, I promise. Next time I'll actually have some things to talk about. Will you cut, can you cut this? Go away, yes, I'm trying to do this. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna get today. So here is the final look. It just need to lay down. Looking in a viewfinder, I know, but I'm just trying to get myself together. Yes, so here's the final look. Just something neutral and light. I'm very limited with my mobility. <laughs> so, yes, it's the final look. I really hope y'all enjoyed this all over the place chit chat. Get rid of me. Oh, I'm zooming in. Yeah, I'm a wreck. But yes, guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will see y'all soon. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. It's Paris underscore Tokyo. I will see y'all in my next video. Goodbye.